Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, this might be my new favorite 3D printed springer. Let's get going. This is Silly's Lever Action Blaster, also known as Slab. Now, Silly has been a designer in the community only for the last, I want to say, year and a half. But he took the pandemic in stride and decided to just dive whole hog into 3D design. This blaster is unique in a number of ways. First of all, there's the form factor. It's got a lever prime, which is nothing but fun to use. It's also got a floating mag well, so when the lever actually primes, the mag moves forward. So essentially the ram itself stays put while the mag moves around it. It's a very innovative design and it is a really fun blaster to play with and operate. The blaster features a talon mag well, pretty standard there. It is a skinny pusher, so you can, of course, remove the magazine as you're using it. It is, of course, compatible with all talon except for angled talons, though there is a variant for angled talons. Now, we just started selling these on the shop a few weeks ago, so full disclaimer, while this is sort of a review spotlight video, this is obviously a product. You should know that by now. Um, we do carry this on the shop in three different ways. The first is simply just the actual hardware bits. That's where you can take the free 3D printed files, print them yourself, take our hardware kit, and put the blaster together. Silly's so got a great tutorial, but we will also be working on our own build guide for the slab. The next version you can get is DIY with our 3D printed parts. So you get to pick from our 26 different colors that we've got in a variety of different options and put them together and then build your own. And the final is a ready to fire blaster where we print, build and test it before shipping it out to you ready to fire. Ergonomically, this blaster is very comfortable. We've chosen the options for our shop as our favorite selections from the lineup that Silly offers. We've got the larger grip up front and the medium size ring back here. We also do offer a extra large version of this for those that want to do fancy uh, spinning tricks with the blaster. I'm not going to attempt this with the table in front of me. Can I do it? No, I'm just not even going to do it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not fancy. The blaster is a really great starting point for someone to do a DIY assembly because it isn't a very complicated build. However, it does have a lot, a lot of hardware. I believe there are 80 screws in this blaster, so it does take some time to put together. Up front, we've got one of my favorite features, which is Silly Scar. This is a very unique scar, and we do sell these separately as well. It is Trivictus style, so it's got three lines that give spiraling down through the center. And then it uses an O-ring for a really great seal with a twist lock to actually give a nice positive lock on the muzzle itself. And you can kind of see how this will work. It sandwiches those two parts together, and it's really well done design and I think it's um, one of the better 3D printed scars uh, just in its elegance of design and I think it looks really nice too. So we do offer that separately but it's included both with our slab blasters and with our Calibern and Talon Claw because we want to make sure that every uh, blaster leaves the warehouse with some sort of orange tip and it's a nice upgrade to have on all blasters. As I mentioned before, we've got it in a bunch of different colors. Here's a translucent red and a translucent along with standard, standard orange. And then this is my personal color scheme right now, which is our tangerine orange as the secondary here. Uh, accent, we've got the galactic black. 
And then the primary, we've got this beautiful, beautiful mermaid's tail metallic teal. And this right now is just, oh, love the colors. We've got four spring options for this blaster, but there are a variety of other springs you could tune yourself if you wanted. We've listed them at various FPS ratings because for us, it's not so important which spring it is, it's more important what performance does it actually get in real world testing because that's the whole point of upgrading a spring. It does take K26 and K25 diameter springs. However, we don't recommend trying to go above the sort of 180, 200 feet per second performance on this blaster just due to how the catch works. The catch and firing mechanisms are actually quite interesting. We've got a floating trigger here with the lever here, a catch bar across the top, and then the catch up front, which is held with a piece of elastic to actually give it the spring it needs to uh, return to position. It's a very cool system overall, and I have had just a ton of fun playing with it. It's kind of hard to describe. I mean, it's not going to be as competitive when directly head to head with say a Talonclaw, which is probably the closest uh, family member, but ultimately the action and the style points of this blaster are really why you're picking it up and using it. It's just a ton of fun to play with. It's uh, got a great tactile feel compared to just a normal pump blaster. And I think it looks really cool at the same time. Up top, we've got two nice little sights which use a piece of fluorescent filament rather than a piece of actual uh, fiber fiber optic. And the reason for that is this is considerably cheaper than the actual fiber optic stuff. And at the end of the day, it is a Nerf compatible blaster, a Nerf blaster or a foam dart blaster. So how much are you really using those sights? I'm not too sure, but it is really fun to look down them when you're playing with it. On the stock itself, we do have a lanyard sling point here. And at first I was like, that's a really weird spot to put that. But when you do actually hold it, it is right where you want it uh, on, your, on your body hanging from here. So hanging from a lanyard here is just perfect for pulling it up and using it. So it's actually balanced quite well for that. I had thought I would want it, you know, maybe back more here, but it's actually ended up being really, really good in practice. Now, Silly Butts has a lot of other designs and he is kind of a maniac. And I mean that in the best possible way. He's just constantly cranking out designs. And because he's not running his own shop, he's always working with other uh, resellers and 3D print farms like us and others. Uh, he gets to just focus on what he loves doing and that's design. So I'm gonna link down to his uh, list of different various 3D files and everything. We are working on offering more and more of his blasters. The Silly Pistol is a maximized uh, pistol with a ton of power from a large plunger tube with a unique uh, rotating clip system where the actual magazine can uh, sort of fold down for compact uh, transport and carrying. Uh, like I said, I'll link him down below because he's got a lot of cool designs and we are really excited to have him and welcome him to the shop. Uh, Silly Butts has been a bright shining light in this hobby and I'm really excited to see what he comes up with next. Just like all of our other designs, when we work with a designer, Silly does get a cut of royalties for each blaster that we print and, or print and assemble. So um, obviously you're supporting his work by supporting us and we thank you for that in advance. Let us know what other questions you have about Slab. It's kind of a unique blaster. I'd love to hear from you whether you are really into these cosmetic and unique function blasters or if you're purely a performance and uh, ergonomics kind of person. Again, thank you so much for watching. Links to both the product and Silly Butts and everything else that we can think of down in the description below. And until next time, I'm, I'm sort of out of darts. I'm out of darts. <laughs>